we are going to learn about vitamin B12 also known as cobalamin. It is a water soluble vitamin. Its structure consists of a chlorine ring system which resembles the porphyrin ring found in heme. In the center of this ring there is a cobalt atom which holds dimethyl benzoyl group on one side and there is a place for the attachment of a substituent group on the other side. When this substituent group is a cyanide, it becomes cyanocobalamin. This is the synthetic form of vitamin B12. When the substituent group is, um, is methyl, it becomes a methylcobalamin. And when the substituent group is an adenosine, it becomes deoxyadenosylcobalamin. These two forms that is methylcobalamin and deoxyadenosylcobalamin are the natural forms of vitamin B12 synthesized only by microorganisms. We humans obtain this from our natural intestinal bacterial flora or by eating foods derived from other animals for example liver, whole milk, eggs, fish etc. which are rich source of vitamin B12. Coming to the absorption and transport of B12. Normally, vitamin B12 obtained from diet is dependent on intrinsic factor for its absorption. Intrinsic factor is a glycoprotein synthesized by gastric parietal cells. Vitamin B12 binds to intrinsic factor. This cobalamin intrinsic factor complex travels through the intestine. And on reaching ileum, this complex binds to specific receptors on the surface of mucosal cells of ileum. The cobalamin is transported into the mucosal cells and subsequently into general circulation. In blood, it binds to specific transport proteins called transcobalamins and is transported to liver where it is converted to deoxyadenosylcobalamin and stored in this form. As it is a water soluble vitamin, our body can only store a small amount of cobalamin that is 4 to 5 mg and this amount is sufficient to meet body's requirement for several years. Cobalamin is required in humans for two essential enzymatic reactions. One is the remethylation of homocysteine to methionine and second is the isomerization of methylmalonyl-CoA to succinyl-CoA. In this reaction what happens is that methionine is an essential amino acid that we consume in our diet. Inside the body Methionine is converted into its metabolite homocysteine when the methyl group is transferred to other molecules for the process of transcription and translation. Homocysteine has to be recycled back into methionine for its repeated use. Vitamin B12 is essential for this reaction. The methyl group is taken from methyl tetrahydrofolate which converts into free tetrahydrofolate. The enzyme methionine synthase is also required in this reaction. This cycle is called methionine cycle. The mechanism of this reaction is that during the degradation of old chain fatty acids and certain amino acids like isoleucine, valine, threonine and methionine, the compound methylmalonyl-CoA is produced. Methylmalonyl-CoA is converted to succinyl-CoA by an enzyme methylmalonyl-CoA mutase. This reaction takes place in the presence of vitamin B12. Then comes the deficiency manifestations. The most important disease associated with B12 deficiency is pernicious anemia. Pernicious anemia is a type of megaloblastic anemia in which body is not able to absorb vitamin B12 due to lack of intrinsic factor in stomach. 
causes of pernicious anemia can be autoimmune destruction of gastric parietal cells that secrete intrinsic factor partial or total gastrectomy leading to intrinsic factor deficiency insufficient production of intrinsic factor usually seen in older people dietary deficiency of b12 usually in low socioeconomic groups another manifestation of b12 deficiency is megaloblastic anemia B12 deficiency inhibits the conversion of methyl tetrahydrofolate to free tetrahydrofolate. As a result, there is reduced DNA synthesis and lack of cell division, resulting in large immature cells known as megaloblast. Inhibition of this reaction causes accumulation of folic acid in methyl tetrahydrofolate form. This is called folate trap. Vitamin B12 deficiency is also associated with neuronal degeneration and demyelination of nervous system. Its mechanism is that this methylmalonyl-CoA that is produced here is a competitive inhibitor of malonyl-CoA. Malonyl-CoA is required for biosynthesis of fatty acid in myelin sheath. Vitamin B12 deficiency causes accumulation of methylmalonyl-CoA which substitute malonyl-CoA in fatty acid synthesis and result in a new type of fatty acid that will disrupt the normal membrane structure. There is an important clinical investigation for estimation of B12 levels in serum. When methylmalonyl-CoA accumulates due to B12 deficiency, it gets converted into methylmalonic acid. Methylmalonic acid is excreted in urine that can be detected in laboratory.